did the version uh, by Alberta Hunter. Now she was, yeah, she was a fantastic blues singer um, from, from the 20s and 30s, and she was also kind of a pioneer because she held on to her copyrights for her songs that she wrote. And so she actually saw a bit of money from them, which was kind of very forward thinking. Um, and you know, she, she had a great career, and then you know, taste changed, and the, the blues voice turned into something else, and so she kind of eased out of music, and then she ended up going back and retraining as a nurse, because she had taken care of her mother and was really inspired by the nurses who had helped her out, so she wanted to be one. She lied about her age, so that she could get into the program. She, she said she was like, I don't know, like eight to 10 years younger than she actually was. She did this program, she, and then she was a nurse for like, I don't know, a couple of decades, you know, she just what, turned into a, a nurse and didn't even talk about her. People who worked with her didn't know she was a singer. And then they made her retire. And they didn't even know how old she actually was and still made her retire. So she was already past retirement age. And then she was rediscovered and went back out on the road in her 80s. And I'm just like, that's cool. That's a life well lived, you know what I mean? And uh, I also mention it because, um, you know, my aunt's in there, my aunt was a nurse, she's retired now, and, and my cousin's a nurse, and boy, the medical profession's had it really hard um, over the last year and a half, and it's just, it's a hard job anyway, you know, and it's a really necessary one, and we just gotta support them better, because it's a hard job, especially now. It's just really, really hard, so. Just I wanted to take the opportunity to say that, and um, we're going to do a little, a little Alberta's version of this of this song, which you've probably heard before. Once I lived a life of a millionaire. Oh, nobody 
me.